Hey everybody, it's Blue Turtle, and welcome back to Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. And now, it's time to head up Death Mountain to see what's at the top, I guess, so... Let's get started on doing that. And now that since we have bombs, we can actually do something about these boulders here. Mountain Summit. Danger ahead. Keep out. I will keep that in mind, except I won't, because I'm just gonna go up this way anyway. Because that's basically what you're saying, is don't go up this way. But what can you do to stop me? Also, why can't I blow up these rocks? What is happening? There we go. Get some rupees as well. I believe there's actually a 20 rupee behind this rock if I can actually blow it up properly. There we go. I'll take that. And actually up here is another rock. So let's blow that up. And in this hole underneath it, we can hear it already, is... A cow, and also a 20 rupee. A spot that Navi goes over to and glows green, I guess. But yeah, we can just get free milk up here if we wanted to. But I don't particularly want to. Well, so just gonna check this real, real fast. It's probably not the best way to grind rupees, but I wonder... Oh my goodness. The red rupee does respawn in here. Cool, there's a lot more ways to grind rupees in this game than I realized. But I know the best way, and I'm never going to use anything else other than that. Which I guess for Young Link is the bridge. But... Anyway. Ah! As we're going up the mountain, we need to hold a highly shield up above us because it's erupting, and these gigantic rocks will hurt us. Although I think if you roll through, maybe you can be alright and not get hit. Maybe? That's a big maybe, though. Yeah, I'm not gonna hit. Cool. I got a little bit hit. A little bit hit, but I'm almost at the top. I just need to wait for this out. I should probably not risk it and just be patient, but anyway. Let's take out these Skull Waltulas. If I'm not bad. Come on. There we go. Come on. Okay, there we go. Now let's head on up. See what's on this platform here. Nothing. Okay, cool. Although I think there is also a, another Skawaltula up there that I want to take out. There should also be a Gossip Stone on the platform that that one just landed on. Right there to the right. But again, it's just a Gossip Stone, so we don't need to worry about that. Okay. Hello, Mr. Owl. I'm going to leave you for a second. And I'm going to go into Death Mountain Crater. Because, depending on how many hearts we have... Up here in Death Mountain Crater... We get given this. Link, it's so hot in here. We can't stay in here for long. We get given a time limit on how long we have before we die, basically. So we need to be very careful not to be in here too long. But there is a grotto right here that I want to go into for a second. I don't think this is anything important, but I just wanted to check it anyway. Just grab that. Please be hot. Nope. Bombs. Guess that makes sense. We will need be needing bombs, but not immediately. There's some bugs here that I could... I'm tempted to take right now. But this will require me actually emptying a bottle and taking them. I mean, I could just take, use my milk. Probably. Also, the bugs are going to go away because they're not... They're not... They don't have to stick around while I'm drinking... Milk. Please grab, please grab. Thank you. Okay, good. This is good. Okay, we've got the bug. This isn't actually probably the best time to be grabbing a bug, but anyway. Now, I want... To go down here. Since I have my full health back, I actually have 56 seconds. There's also heart content piece there, but also if we go down here on this wall, there's also a heart piece down here that I want to grab, which is a little bit risky, but I'm going to do it, so let's take that let's get out of here before the time runs out if we go back into the grotto, we can get our timer back to full again, but I think I might just have enough time to get out of here so let's do that also I can see the moon from inside the crater, that's pretty cool unlike this crater 
when the timer runs out, you literally just burst into flames and that's it. So, I don't want to be in here too long. Okay then. The other thing I want to do... ...is get up my bombs again. And blow up this... ...thing here. Navi, do you have anything to say? Or just check? Question mark, question mark, question mark! Cool. Cool story. Oh. I keep pressing the wrong button because... ...I'm used to having the back buttons. Anyway, let's go into this hole here for the Great Fairy's Fountain. So now let's get out our ocarina and check this thing here. The crest of the royal family of Hyrule is inscribed here. Let's play Zelda's Lullaby. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Power. I am going to grant you a sword technique. Receive it now. You mastered the secret te sword technique of the spin attack. Hold B to charge your weapon. Release B to unleash a wave of energy with your spin. If you want to release energy without charging your weapon, just rotate the control stick once and press B for a very effective quick spin. When you change charge power for a spin attack, magic power will be consumed. Pay attention to your mad green magic meter. Hey boy, you're a messenger of the royal family, aren't you? Next time you're in their neighborhood, you should drop in on a friend of mine who lives by Hyrule Castle. She'll surely grant you another new power. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. So now we have a green magic meter, which will be used whenever we use our spin attack and charge that up. That's a cool attack that we can do. We can also just rotate to do a small spin, which is actually pretty good. Doesn't even use up magic. Uh, if we do uh, Zelda's Lullaby again here, we'll get healed and get our magic back, but we don't need to worry about that right now. So instead, we're just going to leave and figure out what to do next. Now, if I talk to the owl, though... Hoot! Well, it looks like you've grown up a little from the Great Fairy's power. But you still don't really look like the hero who will save Hyrule. At least not yet. If you are going back down the mountain, I can le lend you a wing. Come here and grab my talons and hold on tight. Hoot! So let's just stand in, in his shadow. And there we go. And this takes us down to Kakarika Village. Which is actually pretty good for us, because that means we can actually drop down off of this roof here. And go in here. To get this piece of heart. There's also the cow here if we wanted, but we could also do that from outside, I'm pretty sure. But anyway, it's very nice. Let's head on back out again. And I might actually go... Back up into Death Mountain real quick. Because, like, I got some bugs and I wanted to use them just very quickly. I mean, it'll be a shame to have used up my milk and not done anything with the bugs, so. 
And I mean, there's one other thing we can do along the way as well, so... It works out quite nicely. Just a little bit of walking. Okay, just need to touch that a little bit there. There we go. Okay, so the first thing I want to take care of while we're going along here is the optional thing, which I mentioned along the way. We can blow up this over here. And in here is a gold sculptor for us, which is a bit high for us to actually grab. But that's okay, because if we take it out, which I could probably just blow up and it'll be way faster. But this wall is actually climbable. Which is very convenient for us, because that means we can get this right away, and not have to come back way later. Not that later, but still. But anyway, let's get out our little bug here. And I'm also tempted to do some other stuff while I'm going through here. But I'm not sure if I should. It's a little bit out of the way. Actually... Uh, where I'm trying to think of where things link up in the world. Anyway, I want to use the bugs here to actually get another gold sculptor from this. Please. Thank you. Ow. Just gonna grab that. <laughs> um. Cool. I can not get hit when I'm when I just grabbed a sculptor token. Uh, I'm not going to do the other thing I was thinking of just a moment. I should have grabbed a bug, though. But anyway, let's head down the mountain. And see what we need to do next. Which Navi's probably going to tell us if we go into the field. Because that's helpful. Now, how many sculptors do we have? I don't think we have enough. 17, okay. That's pretty good. Uh, I could also do another thing while I'm here. And that is to go down here and drop a bomb. Ah. Drop a bomb. Just out in the middle of nowhere and there's a secret grotto here. Which has some re-deads in it. So let's take those out, I guess. Um, excuse you, I'm flying. Also, why? That's rude. That's so rude. Ah! Run away, run away, run away, run away. Run away! Ah! Okay, let me try that again. Nope! Ah! That's better. It only takes one hit to take them out. Also, now that we have a magic meter, these... Uh, magic jars will appear. This is a big one, so we get completely filled up with magic, which is good. There are smaller ones as well to give us a little bit of magic. And that's it. But anyway, if we take these both out, we get a treasure chest, which is probably not a great time to get this either. Because I'm pretty sure this is actually something worthwhile. Yep, it's a huge rupee. This rupee is worth a whopping 200 rupees. Completely wasted. But, now you know that's there. And I mean, I could just get a gold rupee whenever I want, basically, not really. <laughs> it's fine. I will just get any secret I want. And just, I mean, rupees are free, basically. Which makes everything else free as well. If you think about it. Now, I'm actually tempted to go back to Castletown. Because I think if I talk to Zelda, she might actually have something for me, but I'm not entirely sure about that. What I am sure about, though, is something over here. If I blow up a bomb underneath this tree. Because there's a secret grotto here. That we can go into it as well. Although I think this is not the right time to be here. Because this, this Skulltula here... But there's also the gold sculptor up there that I can't reach, is the other thing. So I can't really get that, but I want to point that point out that that's there, I guess, so... I can't remember everything in the game, just most of the, of the things. I was just wondering if there was a chest in there, or not. 
But anyway, I'm going to go see Zelda. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, other things. There's other things I can do along the way, it's sad. Just when I'm about to cut to things, you just... <sighs> it's a real shame. There's also that boulder over there that I could check, although I don't think I can do anything with whatever is there. I'm pretty sure I can't do everything over here. Let me just check that to be sure. No, I can actually get this. This is just a treasure chest, which is probably just rupees, but anyway. It's fine. There's a lot of grottos with just money in them. So. It's actually a, a surprising amount that you could probably never see. There's so much in this game that I've never seen. So much. It's just so much. Anyway. Into Castle Town we go. I don't know if there's anything too important in the main part of the town. Actually, there might be a few things. Let's check out what we can do here. Let's go into this building over here, which we haven't gone into yet, I believe. This is the Bomb Tree Bowling Alley. Huh? What? Oh, uh, oh. A customer. Welcome to our cutting edge amusement center. The Bomb Tree Bowling Alley. Do you want to know what you can win? Well, it's a secret. To everybody? I can't tell you until you've, you, you've paid to play. It's 30 rupees per game. Do you want to play? Yes, I do. Okay. Aim for the hole in the center and let Bomb Chew go. You get 10 tries. Ready? Let's bowl. Oh, I want it. I almost forgot. Here's what you can win. A Bomb Chew thing. So Bomb Chews, which are different uh, things, are uh, very similar to bombs, except that whenever we use them, they actually go forward in a straight line, got walls, which can be a little bit chaotic considering angles exist. But anyway, let me see if I can get all three in a row. Maybe? I don't know. We have to keep in mind that there's a spike trap there, and also cuckoos that will get exploded if they get in the way. You also want to make sure that they move out of the way after, or start moving after that you've, they, they've been hit, because otherwise they will just take forever, because they, they, they freeze after you hit them. Now, I'm sad that I didn't actually hit that with that shot there, because the angles are all completely chaotic and weird in here. Okay, this is not good. Please, Kuko, don't. I'm way off again. What is the angles in here? It's a little bit... This, 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 this minigame is very, very notorious. Oh my goodness, Kentucky Fried Chicken. I have four bomb chews left, and otherwise I'm going to fail this. That's not too bad since the prize isn't anything that important, but it means we can take bomb chews with us if we wanted to out into the rest of the world. Okay, that's two. That The second one can also be on a different spot on the wall, so... But last one, we just need to get into the hole, which I might be able to do that for maybe if I've timed if I've done the right angle it's probably not the right angle though I used to be so good at this mini game okay I don't like these cuckoos being what they're whatever they're being oh please no no I have one bomb chew left I'm gonna lose this that's okay this was mostly just practice so I should do it now Oh, please. Spike trap. No, thank you. Good, good, good. Oh my goodness, on the last one. I have no idea how that happened. Winner! And here is our reward. More bomb chews so we can take those out into the rest of the world. Unfortunately, they're not easy to get. So, there's no refills of them that you can just get outside of the world, so... Carry in place with C. This is a new type of bomb that can even crawl up walls. Aim well and really release it. Do you want to play again? Yes, I do. Because this is not the reward I wanted. Here's what we can win. 
A piece of heart, that's a good one. We should get that. If we can. It's all about timing. Basically, if you just line up the shot just right. Oh, go, 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 go. This is a clear shot. Clean, absolutely clean. I'm insane. Go for it. Oh, cuckoo's in the way. Other cuckoo's in the way. Ah, oh, it would have been so clean. Could have been so clean, but it wasn't. Now that big one's being absolutely annoying. Nope. Get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way, get out of the way. No! Oh my goodness. Please, 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 please. No, 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 everything went wrong. Oh, let me try an angled shot. Angled shots are very dangerous because they're almost guaranteed to miss. Oh my goodness. I say that. What? What? That was in? That was in! That was so in! What game? You are ripping me off right now. That's gonna hit the... something. Yeah. I have three shots left. Also, you can hit the spike trap. Ah! And like that, I'm just down back to one again. Oh, go, 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 bomb tree, go, no, chicken, no! Yes, I want to play again, but the prize is going to be different now. Here's what we can win. A bomb. Cool, let's just go. That's not going to work. Or will it? Oh my goodness, what? <laughs> what? Just what? I don't understand this game sometimes. Most of the time. Every time. I don't understand this game sometimes. What is happening? Okay, this is actually good. This is actually good. Oh boy. I need this. This is one of the two items I need from this. This and the piece of heart are the items I need from this minigame and then I'll be done with this minigame forever. Kind of, almost. Oh no, chicken, no. Chicken, no. I'm kind of sad that Bomb Tree Bowling hasn't made a reappearance. I mean, it's really weird, but I... I think it'd be good to bring it back. <laughs> I must be one of the only people, like, few people in the world... ...who think this way. About Bomb Tree Bowling. Go, 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 Please, chicken, get out of the way. Oh my goodness. Nope. 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 <laughs> Everything lining up. Ah! <sighs> RNG manip manipulation, I promise. Please, 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 please. Oh my goodness. <sighs> Thank you, chickens. Winner! And this... is... A big bomb bag. Now you can carry more bombs. Also, the ring around the top of the bomb is actually silver now instead of bronze, which is cool. But now we can carry up to a maximum of 30 bombs. So that's good. Let's play again. Please be the heart. Nope, it's a fifth. It's a uh, it's a purple rupee worth 50. Remember that gold rupee that I completely wasted? Also, that's on its uh, that's on the wall, and I'm gonna miss. Oh, I got it. Let's go again. Please be the heart piece. And please let me win this. Oh, please don't. Oh my goodness, I'm, that's not a good start. I messed up the first one. <laughs> that's, that's really bad. Okay, where's the second one? It's on the wall again. Oh, please hit that. 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 No. Ah. This minigame's fine. It's just fine. It's just an experience. It's... Oh my goodness. I'm down to five already and I'm still in the second door. What is happening? Did the angles change on me? Oh my goodness. Three left. I'm... Okay, there we go. 
I have to get this. I have to get this. That's not gonna work. Oh, it worked. My luck. Thank you. Okay, winner! I did it. Another piece of heart. No, I don't want to play again. How many rupees do I have after that? 40! Wow. Wow. Just wow. Anyway, let's go get rid of some more money. Also, I believe, while we're here, I want to show that this guy over here exists. Please, with C, please sell me something. Please, with C. Does this work? Nope, that didn't work. I feel like that was supposed to work, but it didn't. And now I'm sad, because I don't think there's anything else you can sell to him other than... I'm pretty sure you can only sell him stuff in bottles. Well... That's just sad. Also, we have 20 bomb trees, so it wasn't wasted money when I got more than just one bomb chew reward. Anyway, happy mask shop. Oh great, you sold it. Please pay back 10 rupees for the ketone mask now. Payment received. So now, we can borrow another one. A mask is a C button item. Set it to C and press C to wear it. If you talk to someone with a mask on, you might get a reaction. If anyone is interested in the mask, he or she will ask you about it. Someone will... Someone may say... may want the mask. Somewhere in the world, somebody is waiting for the, these masks. Just have faith. Okay, well I'm gonna buy the skull mask. So let's do that. You borrowed a skull mask. Wear it with C, show it off. You feel like a monster while you wear this mask. Okay. Well, we'll have to keep that in mind then. Okay, now I want to go back into the potion shop again now. Because the green potion that I skimmed over earlier, I guess, uh, is used to recover your magic power. So if we need some magic power, we can just use the green potion from a bottle to get that back. But I'm also not going to do that because you can get magic refills everywhere. Just like everything else in the game, I guess. But anyway. Now, I believe this place? No, not this one. This place? Strange, this door doesn't open. Uh, let me try at night? I feel like at night it's supposed to work, maybe. There we go. Try this again. Okay. This is the bomb shoe shop, which I'm pretty sure you can do this any time, probably, or after, at least after Dodongo's Cavern getting the bombs. Possibly after bomb shoe bowling. But anyway, this is a new type of bomb. It's available only in limited quantities, and when I'm sold out, that's it. So I guess that this is very limited in how many you can get, but you can get some bomb shoes here if you need to. So. That's a thing, but also we don't need to, since we've already got some. Just want to point out that that's, that's there, so... And now, to go to Hyrule Castle, there's so many things to get sidetracked by, apparently. Just so many things. Okay. I could also pay the thing to get through the gate, but I think probably going around is probably the best point, best plan, considering I have 30 rupees left. Also, if you blow up a... no, wrong button. If you blow up a gossip stone, something different happens. There it goes! Well, it's gone. 
I don't know if it comes back either. Might need, might need to check that. I'm not entirely sure if it comes back or not, but anyway. I wonder if Saria knows anything about the other spiritual stone. Well, that's interesting that you say that. I might have to check that in a second. But first, let's go over this way. Because over this way is the dead end. But also, if we blow up this rock... We can actually get through here. It's a great fairy's fountain. With green fire here. Oh my goodness, please. Welcome, Link. I am the Great Fairy of Magic. I will give you a magic spell. Please take it. You got Din's fire. It's fireball engulfs everything. It's m attack magic. Attack magic. You can use with C. You can use Din's fire not only to attack but also to burn things. When battle has made you weary, please come back to see me. So there we go. We have another item in the form of a magic spell. So there we go. But anyway, let's keep going. I guess there are a few more things I want to take care of while we're here. Possibly. Maybe? Oh, I'm t Nah, I don't know. Let me do Sorry Song to start off. You want to talk to Saria, right? Yes, I do. Link? This is Saria, can you hear me? Are you collecting spiritual stones? You have one more to find. You mean the, uh, the spiritual stone of water, don't you? The great Deku Tree once told me that the King Zora, ruler of the Zora's domain, has it. Do you want to talk to Saria again? No, I don't. Well, so we know where the next one is and where to go. Uh, but I also want to talk to Zelda to see if she has any e extra information for us, so I'll I'll do that. Also, here's what the castle courtyard looks like at night when there are guards right here. Ah, uh, hello guys, how you doing? Just gonna walk right through you, don't mind me. Hey you, stop you kid over there! You just got thrown out again. The spiritual stone. You finally found it. It is said that the races that hold the spiritual stones open their minds only to the one who knows the melody of the royal family. But you already know that, don't you? Wow, that's really it? <laughs> is that really it? Wow, that is really it. Cool, also Impa's here again if we need to leave, so... That's actually quite an interesting detail there. If the castle soldiers find you, there will be trouble. Let me lead you out of the castle. So there we go. Anyway, that is it for now, so thank you all for watching. And I'll see you all next time. Gotta get a rupee. Gotta get the rupees, I have to. I'm, I wasted so many, it's fine.